Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So, another video here, driving the Hyundai Ioniq Electric. This is a 2017 28 kilowatt hour model, and this is the premium SE, so it's got all the bells and whistles. So what I thought I'd do is I'll do an example of the semi-autonomous driving these have got. So, this has got a lot of safety systems. It's got uh, blind spot monitoring, lane assist, and adaptive cruise control. And just like the Pro Pilot system in the Nissan Leaf, it bundles it all together to a very smart, uh, sort of self, almost self-driving. It's not quite. It's, it's a very intelligent cruise control. Um, the Nissan Leafs have given it the name Pro Pilot and uh, done a bit of marketing on it, and it's very good. This has exactly the same system, but sort of gone under the radar. No one talks about it, but it works exactly the same as Pro Pilot in a Nissan Leaf. So, if I, uh, I've got lane keep on, I'll set the cruise control and I'll set it to 50 miles an hour. Oh, it's steering for me already. I just have to I'll take my hands off the steering wheel quickly. We can see there the car was steering. You do have to touch the steering wheel though. So we're coming up to a speed camera, so let me just set the speed. Right, we set to 50 miles an hour, and if I take my hands off the steering wheel, we can see there the car is turning around the corner. So I don't have my feet on the pedals, and I don't have my hands on the steering wheel, but I'm just going to keep touching it because you aren't meant to take your hands off. But we can see we're going around the corner here, and the car's turning. It's driving by itself. I'm going to just keep touching the steering wheel. Got to another bend here. There it is. It drove round the bend fine. I'm just going to keep putting some resistance on the wheel because you, you aren't meant to take your hands off. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good system. So it's also got adaptive cruise control. So I've set the cruise control to 64 miles an hour, which is much more than we're meant to be driving here but um, we're going to follow these cars in front and it's going to uh, try to drive faster than the car so we've approached the cars a little bit I can feel it backing off and it's maintaining that gap from the car in front and actually they're slowing down because this guy's turning right ahead there he goes so this car's now speeding up and now the car's speeding up so it's trying to drive at 64 but it won't because we've got a car in front and you can adjust the gap between you and the car. So I can change that gap with this button here. So at the moment we've got it on three bars, we can see on the display. So if I drop it down to two bars, we're going to drive quicker to get up behind him and then it's going to maintain that slightly smaller gap. So it's a really good system, works very well. It does get a bit caught out sometimes, like if you get a sharp bend because the radar might be pointing ahead before you've made the bend but the car in front has sort of gone out of view a little bit because it's shot round the corner so it does try to sort of lurch forward if you've got that speed set too high uh, but once you get used to the limitations of it it's fine you know it is only a radar that's pointing out straight so once you get to grips with what it's actually trying to do it works very well and bundling it all in with the lane keep assist it just works really well as a, um, a driving aid but it only works on um, main roads you're not going to use it on B roads or urban roads this is an A road we've got white lines in the middle and along the edge so it works very well when you've got those white lines so you're going to use it on A roads dual carriageways and motorways but uh, certainly for dual carriageways and motorways long distance driving when you're coming up behind trucks and things it's really nice or if you want to um, maximize your range and hook in behind a truck and get in their slipstream that's where it works really well because the cruise control the adaptive cruise control will just maintain that gap behind the truck and it's great for that sort of hypermiling if you're low on range and you just want to drive the most efficiently as you can you can hook in behind a truck and let it do its thing so i hope that video helps uh, there'll be more videos soon so if you've liked this video do please click the thumbs up because that allows people other people on YouTube to find the video 
and maybe you want to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting lots of videos uh, about EVs and you'll see on there there's hundreds of EV related videos already. So I'll see you on the next one.